Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. What do we got today, Scott? Crown Royal Noble Collection Wine Barrel Finish. Ooh, Wine Barrel Finish. It's new, and let's test it. Test it, we shall. All right, we're in. We're going to be testing it. First of all, again, this the, the container is kind of like smooth. And it, and it takes interesting pictures. This is the second um, release from Crown Royal in the Noble Collection. Um, and I was just trying to remember what last year's was called. Do you remember? Uh, Cornerstone. Yes. That was it. Yes, because the image of the Cornerstone had this exact same kind of packaging. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it was the one that had been moved around on trains from here to there. Remember, they That's made, right. put it in barrels and then they moved it on a train. What's weird is I remember the thumbnail more something. than anything else because I shot it and then I turned it sideways and it made this beautiful mm -hmm. like purple hue mm -hmm. running across. When did we release that? Probably oh, about a year ago because this is an annual. Is it a full year ago? Annual release. It might have been a little bit later, but maybe I updated you want me to the look photo. It up? I can look it up. Nope. <laughs> that may be maybe the photo of it. Um, something just, just fresh in your mind. Yeah, I don't know why. I was wondering if I refresh the photo because every once in a while I'll go in and try to. I'll see a photo that I think just doesn't look good, and I'll go in and refresh it. Well, let's do our Scotch God shout out. Real good quick. call. We got to do the Scotch God <coughs> shout out right now. Sponsored by the Dummies. And we got that's right. <laughs> we got one that's kind of tied in to Canadian whiskeys, Which but is good. go back to the Whistle Pig Farm Stock. Mm. Uh, review now, and Whistle Pig has a little bit of Canadian rye right. in it, bottled in barn. So, uh, Peter White commented on it. He said, "Can safely say I will never purchase this," mm. referring to the Whistle Pig farm stock at that price, mm -hmm. and an anemic eighty-six proof. Wow. Lot 40, 12 year cask strength will be released this September for seventy-five dollars Canadian. Wow. And he, he says, I mean, this That's is... like 22 U.S. Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, so he says, I mean, this, referring to the Whistle Pig farm stock, is $20 U.S. more than Michter's Barrel Proof Rye. Hmm. Uh, yeah, it is. Because I saw a Michter's Barrel Strength the other day, and I think it was 65 or $70. So yeah, the Whistle Pig is coming in $20 more than it is. Hmm. Interesting. Now... I like the experimentation. What is interesting is when Crown Royal put out their Northern Harvest Rye at twenty dollars. I'm going to be honest with you, not not on this yet, but all the other ones that has been, as you know, mm -hmm. my favorite Crown, and it's their like least expensive range. They've done all these real nice cornerstones, which is a nice thing. They're doing different stuff, or you know, and and they're expensive. Mm -hmm. So. Now the cornerstone or the noble cornerstone from last year was good. It was a really smooth whiskey, well done. It just didn't bring that wow factor. It didn't bring the the bam, the right. boom, right? The explosion, you know. Well, no, I don't think Crown's ever brought the wow to us, though. Um, to me, the hand select barrel. You, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was okay. a higher proof. Yeah. That was yeah, a, yeah, that, yeah. That's a good one. All right, I'm with that you on one that brings one. the boom. Yeah, because I remember, I think the first two that we even got into were that one and the NHR, and we were pleasantly mm -hmm. surprised by both. We, we did. Well, we, we bought four or five at, right. at one time to right. do. So, huh? But you know what? I don't have. We ever done just Crown Royal? I don't think like a, a family shootout. We're no, calling just, that a family shootout. Just Crown Royal. Oh, the regular Crown. I thought we did because I had an old Crown that was laying around for a while. Hmm. I, I, if I remember right, we kind of worked them all. In. I know we did the NHR. We've done the Noble or the Cornerstone. We did the Hand Select Barrel. We did the XO or something. Yeah. Yeah, we did. That do was the, the cognac XO, barrel right? and finish. Yes. That one was pretty good. That was the first time I'd had a cognac finish. Uh -huh. Yeah. So. Um, um, this is 40.5%. percent mm, I'm glad they added the 0. 0.5. Yeah. <laughs> Brought it up, baby. 0. 0.5 up. This is also finished. Well, it says, all it says on the front, wine barrel finished. And as you dig into it and you look, it is Cabernet Sauvignon. Ooh, well, that's on the bottle. On the packaging, on the packaging, it does say Cabernet Sauvignon barrel. Really? Yes. First of all, do you know red is my favorite color? I've guessed that. <laughs> <laughs> I got the bonga shirt. 
Got the manga shirt. I thought, you know what? This cap, this fishing tournament cap matches. It, I am not a gang member. That is not what I've got going on here. I almost wish it would. Oh, Coins. I saw Should one I laying around. Couple? Yeah. I've got them over there. Should yeah. I get one? Yes. We got it because people be asking. I'll have my coin I know. in my pocket. Oh. Quick, I take a quick break there, grab some coins. I got 229. 230. 230. Too dirty. Too dirty. <laughs> now, I've got to say, though, we only have 250. Has anyone asked for the 250 coin yet, or is that still selling? No, the around? 250 we're going to sell on eBay. Remember, oh. we'll do the 250th episode with the two or 350th, 350th episode with the 250, 250 coin. coin. We'll put that That's one right. on eBay again, yeah, like we're we did about with the three 300. months out from that 50th. The the we're yeah. gonna we're gonna do an eBay coin on every 50 shows, right? That was kind yeah, of what maybe we're maybe it's a maybe. Ooh, and, uh, ooh, yes. I got. Nice little rye jumped out yeah, at me huh? there. Rye with the with a sweetness tucked in. Yeah, the wine the wine finish comes out on the nose as well. A little bit of oak and a little bit of maple. It's definitely I get uh, like an allspice. I get that rye first, huh? Then I get like an allspice or like a Christmas spice, not quite cinnamon. And there is a nice little sweetness layered right in there with it, which must be the wine on the finish. I was going to try to narrow down the sweetness. Citrus, honey. Good. Huh. Maybe a bit of vanilla. It really got a pretty good nose on it. It does. That's uh, the rye. Well, the rye really grabs me up front because a little bit of that dill ryeness. Yeah. That's in there. Mm-hmm. Huh. Which I remember the Cornerstone also had just a little bit of rye in there. I don't think it was as noticeable on the nose, though, if I remember. Yeah, I don't recall. Wow. Orange zest from the rye. Hmm. 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 Wow, nice vanilla and caramel. It is. Big mm. vanilla burst, actually. Yeah. Um, really smooth. Of course, 40.5%. Yeah. That's my only thing here. It comes in a little watery for me. Mm. It's... Uh, Grapes. Mm. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. I was just going to throw that out because oh. it popped in my head right, right. there. <clears throat> you were saying... No, you were saying it comes off a little bit watery mm -hmm. to you. No. So... Smooth. Vanilla burst is very pleasant. I mean, I get a really front up vanilla flavor pushing in. In the middle, I get a little bit of the, interestingly, a slight astringent works in in the middle palate. And maybe some of that wine flavor popping in. But, I don't mean at this ABV you would expect, um, but it's not giving me this phenomenal mouth feel other than the astringency. It's almost like I'm, uh, I mean, it doesn't have that thick or that richness, at least in mouth feel for me. Flavor, that burst of vanilla is interesting because it's right on the front of that, front end of the palate. A little bit of a powdered sugar sweetness with it. Mm. On the finish? It's, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it's really, it's, it's so smooth and all the flavors are really blended together pretty well. You know, there's a mild rye, there's a mild sweetness, there's a mild oak, there's a mild, or the vanilla is probably, and caramel, the strongest. The I vanilla agree. caramel cream. <clears throat> I agree 100% on that. The oak is in there, but it's way in the back for me. The wine is what I'm trying to tease out because it's kind of, uh, I want to almost say like a like a wine tannin, um, almost like when uh, if you're just eating grapes, um, you know, just right out of uh, off the bunch, and uh, and I've got most of the juice out of the grape, but I'm still kind of it's not called a rind, is it? The skin? <laughs> no. What is it? Fact is, I was gonna say, did you see the comment that somebody bashed you the other day oh. for saying cherry rinds? Ooh. 
Did I say cherry was, rind? Cherry? He, what did they well, call he it? commented the cherry meat. It no. was it was a bash on both of us for a thirty minute rambling. He called it. Well, that's which the video was only twenty two minutes long. <laughs> so first of all, he was wrong there. Uh, it can and feel then like thirty with me he rambling. Said, no. He said he didn't have time for a thirty minute rambling <laughs> and cherry rinds. W T H. Mm. So you said cherry rinds. I corrected you. I said skin. It's more mm. like a skin. It's not a rind. But I mean, yeah, yeah, it's not the rind. Who would get who would get worked up over that? Cherry rinds. What the hell? I tend this to say dumb. dumb. Yeah. Oh, we know that. I'll make a <laughs> word know? up. Like wow. From, yes. from henceforth, I call it a cherry rind. <laughs> so they do call it the skin, though. That's what I, I would mean. imagine. It's just a skin because the yeah. rind is more like off of a thick orange or yeah, something. Yeah, right. I would say a yeah. zest, if something you thicker. A rind. See, I'd have to get on Webster and look up what's yeah. the difference between rind and and a skin. Yeah, interesting. So I kind of get that like. Um, the uh, the grape flavor would be kind of like I'm down to just the skin of the grape, and I still got a, a a hint of the juice kind of in my mouth from from chewing on a seedless grape, and I'm working over that rind of the grape. You know, it's almost more though like a, a like a grape grape, a purple grape mm. juice, I think. Um, I was trying to think is it a white grape? Yeah, that's what I was or thinking. Or a grape grape. I almost think it's more of a grape grape. Mm. Grape, grape. How about Grape Ape? You remember Grape Ape? <laughs> I do. The old cartoon when yeah. he was little? Me and my cousins used to run around and tease my sister and call her that and she'd get so mad at oh us. Oh my gosh. Here's what I miss. Saturdays <laughs> was like like uh, agenda TV. I mean, I would have to wake up to go catch. Oh yeah. Um, what was the deal with the, uh, the cats that were like people and they had swords and I know it's huge and there's even a movie I think coming out. Mm, I can't I remember, remember that. One. Hannah Barbera. Um, oh my gosh, someone's yelling it right now. But I also said cherry rind at some point <laughs> and pissed somebody off. So it, it may come to Thundercats. Thundercats. Hmm. I used to get up and watch that. Now my boy, my boys on demand, or I mean, even Seth, my eight year old with Down syndrome, sort of like funneling through and picking out his favorite Thomas out of an unlimited Thomas the Train queue. And he'll be like, I'll, I'll, he'll be moving it and be like, He'll he'll talk to himself. Go no, 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 no. <laughs> yes, and then he'll hit it or Bo's running it. My ten year old and I'm just thinking, man, it's a great time to be a kid. We used to have to wait till Saturday. Uh -huh. I would get up on my own. I would have to make deals with my sister because I'd be like, I want to watch Thundercats, and she'd be like, No, such and such is on. I'd be like, Okay, hold on, I'll let you watch your show at, at nine if I can watch mine at eight thirty or whatever. And uh, I mean, it was huge. And if you missed it, what happened? That was it. You missed, you it. missed it. Yeah, yeah mom and dad wake up, turn off the show, get to work. No, I can't miss Thundercats. <laughs> I know I shouldn't pour another one, but I got to. Right <laughs> We're talking. This is okay. Let's move into our scores, and I'm going to tell you, I like this better than I do than I did the Cornerstone. Me too. Me too. I think there's a I little bit more here. I don't even remember what I scored Cornerstone, but I agree there is a little bit more here. Yes. Uh, the wine finish is interesting, uh, the vanilla explosion on the front, the creaminess, the caramel that's wrapped in. Um, I, I agree there's a little bit more here. I cannot remember what I scored that other one for the life of me, but I would say a good 87. Hmm. I really, really enjoy it. There you go. I'm going 89 on this one. That's good. No plus or minus. And I, 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 I'm pretty sure I was a little lower on the cornerstone. Um, I didn't feel like it delivered. This I think delivers where it didn't. Um, keep in mind, still a good Canadian blend. They are, I mean, for the most part, they are smoother. They're lighter. Mm -hmm. It's a good combination. You got a little bit more of that rye coming out. Um, now, price-wise, Cornerstone last year's version we paid eighty to ninety dollars for. Mm -hmm. So this, we're talking, is it worth it? This one, yep. Let's move right in there. This one, fifty-five dollars. Oh. Well, that's a nice move on their part. I know. Yeah, because uh, I'm going to admit I was all ready for you to say higher. I was going to go. Yeah, yeah, I was going to go. No, no, no. Well, and it came. Okay, honestly, when this came in to the to our liquor store, huh. and they had it, and I was like, you know, we weren't that impressed with the cornerstone, mm -hmm. and you know, it's I don't think it's worth it. I'm not going to get it. And then they said it's fifty five dollars, and I said I'll take one. Throw it in. <laughs> 
You know what? Just and right there, a little bit on the finish. I even got a little bit of rye on the finish. Mm -hmm. I was going to say the one thing I didn't minish, minish, mention was that the finish, there's a mixture of the words, a minish, was that it kind of dropped off. But that was where I just picked up some of the rye notes was yeah. in that finish. And when I do my circular breathing, that rye kind of hangs in there, that rye bread. It's real light, real faint, but it's there. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. So, yeah, that's worth it. I think it is too. That's worth yeah. it. That's nice. I like what they're doing. To be very, very fair, I think if you up the ABV on this, you might lose some some of the subtleties of that wine finish. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Throw out a cast strength, but only add three dollars to the total price. <laughs> I mean, That's maybe good. even you know fifty six. I mean, 46, 48, 45 Yeah, if it was bumped up. You know what? I, I still think the sweet spot for a standard bottle is between 43 and 46% mm. ABV. Yeah. I think that's a great sweet spot in there. There's been 40% of it carry it all. For starters, for the all, base. Though. Yeah. For the, for the base. Yeah, right. I mean, there's yeah. some. The Dalmore, quite honestly, pulls off a 40 ABV where I don't even notice. It, it doesn't feel watered down. This feels slightly, slightly weak. Mm. But that's it. Otherwise, that's flavorful. It's definitely worth it. That's a very, very good price. Now, I will tell you, though, too, I think there maybe there's more of this one because I know when, when they got the Cornerstone last year, they had like a case of it. Hmm. Maybe two. They had like five or six cases of this. Really? So maybe there's more of this around. Hmm. I don't know what the production run was of it. There's a lot of... Or maybe it's cheaper because they didn't haul this one around on trains. I was actually going to throw out the train hauling. <laughs> Yeah, anytime you're hauling stuff around on trains it gets and moving it, yeah. it's over here now, now it's over here. <laughs> yeah, I agree, this just was in a nice area somewhere. Um, good move, keep the experimentation up, crown. Mm. I think we've seen with uh, kind of like our Jack Daniels double barrel, when these, the, when the big boys, and I consider Crown Royal the big boys, when they yeah. start experimenting, they can end up putting out a super high quality product at a very, very reasonable price. Mm -hmm. And that's the muscle I think they get to exert on the market in general. Yeah, that is true. And, and I would just say, you, you call it, we call it the, the, the Jack Daniels double barrel. Boom. He's referring to the single barrel, barrel proof. Right. That's the barrel, the barrel got the name double barrel. Double barrel. Us. I think they're going to change it if I state it that way yes, enough. Yes, I think so. I, uh, Much like people are going to start calling them cherry rinds. They're probably getting ready to contact <laughs> us. For They're going to say, hey, we love what you're doing. The marketers we paid lots and lots of money to got it wrong. That's right. There's, there is a double barrel in there. From henceforth, we're calling it double barrel, and it's going to look like the shotgun barrel pointing right at you. We're incorporating it into the logo, and we'll say thanks. <laughs> What are we going to do? Go to well, go to scotchtestdummies.com. You can order our new t-shirts. We got several mm -hmm. designs up, so several design. uh, varieties, shirts and sweatshirts, jackets. Jackets. You need um, a jacket. You can go to scotchtestdummies.com. You can order our Glen Cairns. You can order our challenge coins. Boom. We're about out of cask number 1, which yep. is the first run. Cask number 2 is has been ordered. Yep. So, take photos it. of them with you. We call them the virtual traveling dummies and please please comment you know what we're going to do? We're going to scotch it, you scotch gods. Cilantro. Dummies. Dummies.